everybody and welcome back. In today's video we are going to be going over the audio system for the Unity Float Controller. In this example we're going to be working with Tank 1 here. So uh, once you go into your Tank screen uh, you will see the Manage Music button and then the drop down list that has uh, the available tracks that you can play. Um, so at this point what we would do is we're going to go ahead and go into the Manage Music and we're going to create a new folder uh, to put some new music into. So to do that we're going to hit New Directory and what we're going to do is whatever we call this uh, directory is what's going to appear in the list. We're going to call this float track 1. Hit OK. And then it'll take us into float track 1 directory. Uh, at this point we can go ahead and start uploading the, uh, the music. Uh, you can't hit return. It does show it in here, but again we have no tracks in here right now. So it will not play any music. So what we're going to do is go ahead and go to our float track 1. I'm keeping our music on a thumb drive right now. So we're going to select the uh, MP3 file and at this point you can preview it and listen to a sample of the music or if you wanted to you can add it to the list. Um, you can just double click it and it puts it into the list or if you need to you can just highlight it and click add just to get it into the transfer queue. At that point you'll go ahead and click on begin transfer and at that point it'll go ahead and start transferring it with the status down here. If we wanted to, we could add a bunch of other music into the list and transfer it all at once. Of course, it will take a bit more time. Do remember that um, the amount of music you play, you put in there, uh, if it's not longer than your float time, it will basically re-loop and start at the beginning and play it over. So if you're floating for 60 minutes and you only have 30 minutes of music in there, it's going to play it all twice. Um, so do keep that in mind. This is almost done. And once it's done, the, it should bounce from the transfer queue up into the float tank files. At this point, uh, we're good to go ahead and um, play the music on float track one and we'll actually get it in the tank. Um, also, what we can do, uh, do remember that the messages folder does contain your intro and your post mp3 files. So if you want to change any of the, um, the intro or, or exit messages, uh, you can just select the intro uh, file or the post file. You can delete it and it'll be gone it'll reappear and then what you can do is you can come in and we can you can select your new intro file and transfer it back up and then that's basically how you go ahead and customize your intro and exit files they do have to be named intro and post though for them to work correctly do remember um, when you're in here do not leave the, the the folder as the messages folder otherwise it'll just loop your intro and exit message while you're in floating uh, so when you're done with a, a track and you want to get rid of it, uh, you can just go to the uh, in here and you can either delete the individual uh, mp3 files or you can just delete the directory and it'll get rid of it all at one time. So if you are going to listen to your auxiliary and you're going to plug in like your iPod or your iPad uh, or phone uh, into the auxiliary input, uh, you can activate that. You do have to make sure that the float music is still turned on. Um, you know, turning the float music off uh, will actually turn off the auxiliary also. And um, that basically concludes the, uh, the tutorial for working with your audio in the um, Unity float control. And we will see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.